Hey, this GIS Pro tip, let's learn how to authorize ArcGIS Pro with a single use license. There are three ways that we can license ArcGIS Pro, including a named user license, a single use license, and a concurrent use license. We typically recommend that individuals use the named user license approach, but there can be instances where authorizing the software locally can be advantageous. This is especially true when internet access might be unreliable or in the rare instances where the university's enterprise or single sign-in login system is not operational. In this demonstration, I'll assume that you have an operational version of ArcGIS Pro that works with a named user license, and we'll learn how to acquire, install, and authorize a single-use license. To begin this process uh, here at K-State, visit the GI Science Virtual Collaboratory website at gis.ksu.edu. Once you're at the Collaboratory website, scroll down until you see the download button and click it. If this is the first time that you are uh, attempting to download Esri software or license files, you may be prompted to enter your K-State EID and password. But once you do, uh, you'll see an interface or a screen that, that looks like this. Find ArcGIS Pro uh, in the list of software packages. And then uh, find this last folder here, which says ArcGIS Pro provisioning files. And when you get into that folder, you'll see two different license files or provisioning files here. The first one is a concurrent use license, but we're going to be after this second one that begins with education site. That is a single use license. We need to download this file to your computer. To do that in my browser, I'm going to right click and save link as and then store this PRVC, the single use ArcGIS Pro provisioning file to my computer. With that done, we can then start ArcGIS Pro. And before you open uh, a recent project or create a new project, we're going to go down to settings in the bottom left. Here, find licensing from the menu system along the left edge of the application. And you should see your current, current information about your name user license. Down here at the bottom, find and then click configure your licensing options. And this takes just a second, but again, it's going to tell us that our current license type is a name user license, and I'm using K-State's uh, ArcGIS Online for Organizations account to authorize my, my license here. To change this, uh, find license type here at the top and click the drop down arrow and choose single use license. Again, wait just a moment. And you'll see, actually, I've previously authorized this software also with a single use license. Uh, but in your screen, it may look a little bit different. But the next thing that you're going to want to do after checking single use license is ensure that the advanced option here for the licensing level is selected and then choose authorize at the bottom left. And when you do, another screen will pop up asking you about uh, different authorization options. And here, if this is the first time that you've done this, choose I've received an authorization file and I'm now ready to finish the authorization process. The authorization file is that provisioning file we downloaded from the GI Science Virtual Collaboratory website. So click that last option and then on the Browse button and find the downloaded PRVC file, our ArcGIS Pro single-use license. 
Uh, what comes next is a series of windows that we'll click through. Uh, this first one is, is maybe one of the more important. We want to go ahead and accept this first option to authorize with Esri now using the internet. Click next. You'll have some information here that you can leave the same. This is just information that's part of the actual provisioning file. There's, there's no need uh, to change this, even though it says my name and, and my address. Go ahead and click next. And then you've got to enter some, some personal information about your organization. And I'm education, staff, faculty. My industry is higher education and I am an educator. Click next. Again, you're going to have some information here that gets populated by the provisioning file that you downloaded. Go ahead and click next. And even though you don't see authorization numbers for all the extension packages here, these are all included with your single use license. So, um, you can either uh, choose, uh, I have authorization numbers to authorize one or more extensions. That's probably the best option. Go ahead and click next. And then we reach out to Esri and get this authorization approved. Now, for me, again, I previously gone through this process on my computer. So uh, the process was approved. Uh, your result may be a little bit different, but hopefully it's successful. Then simply click finish and OK. And when you change the license configura configuration from uh, named user to single use license, you will have to shut down ArcGIS Pro for those license changes to take effect. So I hit OK. It shuts down. And then I can restart ArcGIS Pro here real quickly. And if I come back to settings one more time, licensing, you can see now I have an ArcGIS Pro single use license. Again, single use licenses can be advantageous because I'm, I'm authorizing the software to work locally. Uh, the provisioning file, all the information needed for me to use the software is stored on my computer. I've gotten approval then to use that license from Esri and I'm ready to go. I'm not subject to any internet outages now or any potential problems with the universe, university's enterprise login system. I hope you found this GIS Pro tip helpful. For more tips, follow Geography and Geospatial Sciences on Facebook or Twitter. And if you want to learn more, consider taking a GI science course here at K-State or even major in geographic information science and technology.